Hi, I'm Allison Minami with IDA TV. We're here at the 47th annual East West Players Gala event and Visionary Awards. I'm here with Kong Sim. Tell us a little bit about Monday mornings and your role as a doctor. Ah, uh, well, I play a, a neurosurgeon, Dr. Sung Park, not from this country. And I'll, I'll be honest, first time I, I saw the role, it was really, I have to have an Asian accent, really, like Korean accent, which I could f turn on on a dime. But as I read the script, and it's from David E. Kelly, yeah. Um, and as we shot the first season, I realized that this was just the, it was a very three-dimensional role. And it, it's actually really fun to kind of play somebody who's a little bit socially challenged, kind of like a Bones character. Um, so I, I've had a ton of fun with it. And my mom's happy that I play, <laughs> at least played a, a doctor on TV. What does your mom think of your accent? You know, funny, she has the same accent. Um, she's actually never said anything about the accent. Usually, if she says anything, the few times that she's seen me perform, it's she'll give me like a corrective note. So that I got no notes from my mom, <laughs> let alone David E. Kelly, yeah. is, is a good thing. Um, so you also play the dad on Glee. Yeah. Um, how was that? Is it fun to be on Glee? It was cool, yeah. They, when they shoot those musical numbers, it's a long day. Yeah, I honestly thought I looked too young and handsome to be Harry Shim's fa father. So. I completely agree. I mean, Harry Shim's pretty handsome, but uh, I could go into that. It's a whole different acting experience where, where I was like, I have nothing to lose because I'm not going to get cast anyway, so I'm going to make choices that are not on the script. Um, and I did. I chose moments uh, that, that were soft and tender that wasn't in the first, first uh, episode, and I think that's why I got cast. Wonderful, you are sort of authentic to your choices. Aww, um, nice. So you're here at East West Players a Visionary Gala event. Yes. Um, what do you think about Asian American representation, male representation, how it's changing, how the landscape is um, changing Ooh. for young people? You know, I mean, seeing these, these young guys come up and getting uh, on the YouTube and stuff and getting the recognition that has nothing really to do with being uh, Asian is great and you know we, we have a lot of great leading males so it's great to see them having roles happen um, I mean we kind of have a long way to go though too and I think ultimately when we have the people who become the David E. Kelly's or the David E. Lee's you know and, and end up being showrunners this is when things will start changing and we, we see that happening now too so so we're, you know, even in my generation, we're on the backs of all the Asian Americans that had much fewer opportunities than we've had for decades. And so we're just kind of building on that and, and focusing on the positive and, and just seeing these guys here uh, being awarded and what they do. It's good. Well, we're so happy to have you here tonight. One last question. Yeah. So outside of acting, what do you like to do? I like to get married. Uh, that was my, this is my series regular that will last, I'm pretty sure, Wonderful. at least until the prenup goes through. But um, uh, I, I do that, I, uh, I volunteer with a group called Laughter for a Change, which is, um, they t we teach improv to, to uh, inner city kids uh, in juvenile hall facilities, to Vietnam vets, uh, just kind of bring improv to places that normally don't typically have an access to improv, like Koreatown Community Center. Um, and. Um, I garden. Do you, do you eat the f the Do you eat your vegetables that you garden? I do, I do. But you got to be really careful to wash everything out. And even when you wash things out, you got to look at each strand of green onion or each whatever, because caterpillars just stick onto your food that you grow, your own garden food. Um, but I'm a I'm a big proponent of growing your own garden, literally. <laughs> I hear caterpillars are good in cookies. They're probably really delicious. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. I'm Allison Minami with ID8 TV.